Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back here with another video. Uh, so today's video, I decided to do some. <coughs> I decided to do something. I probably was kind of starting to lose my voice there, so I cleared my throat. But anyways, uh, so for this video, I decided I decided I would do something that was pretty nostalgic, at least for me. I don't know if any of you out there would consider this to be nostalgic for you, but <coughs> this for this video, I decided to revisit the DS, the Nintendo DS, or the this is the Nintendo DS Lite XL to be exact. But uh. But yeah, so I decided I would go through like um, all the like menus of the DS and all the apps and stuff like that. And then I have this like bag here that has all my DS games in it. Actually, this bag is where I came my like DS, 3DS, and Game Boy games. So yeah, more specifically, I have the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, so yeah, that reminds me of um, I don't know if you know about the YouTube channel called like FBE or React, or you want to call it. I don't really call it FBE anymore because the fine brothers like quit the channel. But there's a Kids React video from like a while back, like back in the day, it was Kids React to Game Boy. And one of the girls in that video, uh, when they when they were like, got like hands of the Game Boy and they liked it, they were like, why is it, why is it just called a Game Boy? Girls can play too, why isn't it called Game Boy Girl? And I'm like, seriously, they didn't name it Game Boy because only boys can play it. But anyways, um, you can probably like look up like Kids React to Game Boy on YouTube. Um, if you want to see that video, if you want to see what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's talk about the Game Boy. This video isn't about the Game Boy, is it? So, uh, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, there's the first screen there. It's like warning off the day scene that says Nintendo DSi and Nintendo Let's Talk About It. So it's touch the screen to continue. Um, and then usually, um, uh, let me just, okay, I just want to turn it down a bit so you could hear my voice clearly. So you can like for sure hear my voice. But anyways, um, there's usually a picture from like the camera app of the DS pops up on the top of the screen here on like the home page of the DS, for example. This is a picture that I have in the DS camera app. <clears throat> it's a picture of me and my sister. It looks looks like she was coughing in that picture. <laughs> or nearly sneezing or something. I don't know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> I forgot to say when I showed the, the bag of games I have, I think I'm gonna uh, go through the, this bag of games and like try to find the uh, like the my, the most nostalgic DS games, at least for me, and like my favorite DS games and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go through each and every single game that I have in this bag because that might take a little too long. But yeah, uh, anyways. So first off, I do actually already have a game in here, and now uh, it says it's SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantus THQ, but that's actually not what it technically is the game that's in there, but it's only one of the games in here because, see if I click on it, oh wait, there is a curry press and plate, what? Um, cause some sort of error. Okay, let me try to click on it again. Uh, click. Cause there we go. Okay, we're at that time. So, this is actually one of those, like, they call, like, flash cart things. They have, like, multiple DS games, like, in one cartridge. So, for, for example, this one has 520 DS games in one. So, click on micro SD card, and then there's 20 in one. Then, yeah, there's all the 520 DS games, like, in one basically. So it starts off with like some Disney games, and then Spongebob games, Drawn to Life, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Drawn to Life is a pretty cool, like, pretty cool game, that's the Spongebob edition of Drawn to Life basically. Anyway, and then some of the like Imagine games, where you're like, you do different like occupations and stuff like that. Not really jobs, but like, yeah. It's like different things in each game, that's what the Imagine games are. And like random Peppa Pig games, and Garfield games, Shrek, uh, a couple Pokemon games, all the classic Mario games, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Tetris, a lot of cool things here, a lot of pretty cool games on here. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, there's a Cars game there, uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Interactive DS Storybook series, I'm not quite sure what that is. So I'm like, games where you can have pets, a Johnny Bravo game, just a variety of a lot of really different, really cool games there. It's really cool to have this 520 in one thing. It I just popped in and has like 520 DS games on my fingertips, which is pretty cool. But anyways, uh, that's enough of uh, looking at that. Um, I was gonna like show like from like this angle, but I think it's easier if I do like this. Oh, this is a picture of uh, an old friend that I that I have when I was younger. I'm not gonna say like his name or anything, so I'm good at private stuff. But yeah, anyways. Um, so I guess we'll start from over here. So the first thing, starting from the left, is this Flip Note Studio app. I don't think this app really, like, really works any anymore. 
Um, apparently, this is what most Dio app thinks it's, uh, according to, according to this, is like calendar on the Footnote Studio app, and apparently it thinks it's December of 2001, which is obviously not right, um, because it's 12, 2001. Anyways, you can go back and then view Footnote. I think I have some, like, Footnotes, like, saved. We go to, like, my system memory. Yeah, I have some random stuff saved, like, there's this thing with the cat on a skateboard. Uh, yeah, it's really random. Um, uh, hidden techniques. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, this is this random animation thing, like, cat chasing a mouse, I guess. Um, well, it's very, I think, chasing each other, I guess. Um. Anyway, that's that, and then... There's this random like creature thing. I think I remember correctly. You showed like all fur or something like that, and makes another creature thing. It's like a looping thing. That's what a lot of these like flip notes are, like looping things, as you can see. Oh, what's this one? Okay, so we're in a picture, I guess. I don't remember what that's supposed to be. <clears throat> Anyways, then what's this first one here? Oh yeah, it's like a wheel as picture. It's not like a hedgehog. I remember that. Uh, anyways, whoops. You have to like pause it on something on the wheel and then for me land on add one star. I don't quite remember what that means. I guess adding stars is something you could do with like footnotes on the footnotes there you have. Anyway, actually hold on, let me go back into it real quick because there's something else I just remembered that you can do. It's kind of like a separate uh, thing, but it's uh, yeah, it's this little thing right here, flip note. Head well, actually, I'm going to create flip note real quick. Uh, I can basically like, draw stuff, like stuff like that. Uh, whoops. Exit, oh no, not that. Exit, there you go. Um, uh, this little like frog thing in the middle, I don't really remember what this is. Oh, it's like an editing thing, I guess. Uh, okay, exit. Okay, Flipnote Hatina. I'm not actually quite sure this word. They're announcing Flipnote Studio. Only stories ever by the Hatina Co. Ltd. Okay. Just gonna continue on it. Actually, I don't quite remember if this DS is still like connected to the internet. Not sure, I don't remember, but we'll see, I guess. We'll almost dropped the DS. Anyway. Just kind of doing it now. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. It says service for software has been discontinued, felt it's port on ten dot com, then error code two zero one one zero. So yeah, I, I didn't think the footnote Hatina thing worked anymore, but I thought it was worth a shot, I didn't quite remember. But yeah, it said support it had been discontinued. Actually maybe let me click on it again because I thought it, oh wait, that was just the okay. Yeah, that's just a different menu of the film studio. I thought I thought the menu of the Flint Hotina thing was able to be like seen for a second, but it was not. Anyway, <laughs> so that was it. <clears throat> so, so then after Flint Note Studio, the next thing we scroll is the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool. Um, so I think the, I think this DS is like connected to the internet then. Um, so from my quick, I think it's like after the 3DS came out, they made an, a new app for the, the DS that was like a thing where you could like transfer all your data from the DS or to the 3DS. It's, it's similar to to when the Wii U came out, they made an app for for the, the Wii but where you could like transfer all the data from the original Wii to the Wii U. It's similar to that. Uh, so it's going to be turned out right now. I'm not actually, not actually going to do like a whole transfer thing right now. But yeah, it's just the app here is just one button, big button that says transfer to the 3DS and it says return to menu. Bottom there. Uh, we're using the transfer function, blah blah blah. Uh, and then they can like send it. Uh, target this. Oh, yeah, I have to have the 3DS system. That's, that's how you do it. Uh, anyways, that's it. Otherwise, it's also like important information. That's, hard, that's probably boring. But yeah, so it's just like general information, stuff like that. Uh, let's go back. Turn to the DSI menu. Or turn to the DSI menu, yes. So that was that. <laughs> um, the next step was another one of my old friends in that picture. Anyway, <laughs> I kind of missed him, but anyway. Uh, like my friends, I mean, I kind of miss my old friends when I was younger. Anyway, um, so then next app is the Nintendo DSi browser, like the web browser. I don't remember if the web browser still works either. I mean, I don't really. Okay, I was trying to like adjust the way I was saying so I could like kind of like see the DS better, but. I haven't really been on the, the DS and, oh, well, I've sometimes still play on the DS from time to time, but I haven't actually been on the 
play on the DS in a while. I don't play on the DS as much now as I go. I still go back to it like from time to time. So that's all that stuff. Anyways, a uh, web browser appears too, still works. So let's see, go to page, open web page, just haven't explored yet. So let's just try, let's try a simple website like Google. D, D, O, O, T, L, ah, no. Oops. Oh, I, I accidentally, accidentally searched Goog and then like the colon symbol. Anyway, um, let's see, go back here, go to page, let me try typing it again. G, O, O, G, no, not H, not G, no. anyways, L, E, there we go, Google, go. There we go, it popped up, so, yeah, so you, you can actually still go to web pages on the DS and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Anyway. That was that. It's just a simple web browser, not much to it really. The next up we have the Nintendo DSi shell, that's a random blurry picture, I don't quite remember what that is. I think that's like an old house that I used to live in when I was younger. Anyway, um, it's obviously something I'm playing on like the TV and that picture, I can't quite tell what that is. Anyway, uh, but the next thing is the Nintendo DSi shop, so let's click on that. I don't think the Nintendo DSi shop actually works anymore, but I'm not sure. into the internet. Like it does have the green bars and that little, that little part there. So, yeah, it is going to the internet on the FDS. Yeah. Um, I'm going to on my DS. I kind of said it in a weird way and I was like, it is going to the on my DS. I don't know, but more simple way to say that would have been like my DS is going to the internet. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling on. Okay, so shop popped up, so I guess we can click start shopping on the bottom. I thought the DSi shop was discontinued. Um, let's see, I guess the DSi where I don't have, I don't have any like DSi points on DSi shop. I guess that's how you buy stuff on the DS the DS like shop back in the day. Okay, so there's no software available this time. Yeah, that's why I thought the DS shop is basically discontinued. There's nothing on the DS shop anymore. Um, let's see, let's go to the settings maybe. Go to titles you've downloaded. Let's see the history of stuff I've downloaded from the DS shop. Do, 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 do. Oh, it says the only thing I've downloaded apparently is the free Nintendo 3DS transfer tool which I showed up before. Um, yeah. I don't think I remember really downloading much from the DS shop. Um, but yeah, that's that. Yeah, it says download and stuff. Anyway, that's that. And then, yeah, we had another one of my old friends when I was hungry in that picture there. Anyway, so next up is of course an app that a lot of you might probably remember it had a DS back in the day which is Picto Chat. Um I never actually really chatted with anyone from Picto Chat but I always like to go on Picto Chat and just like write and draw random things and yeah, just stuff like that. You know, all used used to look like like writing and drawing random things. Anyway that's that. I never really had um like any friend with the uh, like with their own DS that I could use Picto Chat with, so I never really used to, uh, Picto Chat to talk with anybody when I was younger. Yeah, anyways, got another picture of an old friend I had when I was younger. Actually, that's a younger version of the friend in the last picture that I saw. Anyway, anyway, next up, this next thing is DS Download Play, and basically this is a, uh, you basically um, like connect to stuff and like download software. To basically download on the DS, yeah, kind of like well, it's kind of like temporarily downloading because once you like exit out of it, they don't have access to it anymore unless you unless you download it, it again from the DS download play app. But yeah, obviously it's not gonna find yourself or download. But I remember one thing I used to love doing back in the day was um, when the when the N Nintendo Channel was still available on, but on the original Wii back in the day, I used to really like um, like. Uh, downloading that, because there used to be a section of the Nintendo channel on the Wii that had, like, DS demos. So I used to, I used to really like downloading the, the DS demos on the Nintendo channel from the Wii, like, onto my DS all the time. I thought that was a really cool thing. I wish the Nintendo channel was still a thing, but unfortunately it's not. I know some people have kind of created, like, a modded version of, like, the Wii that has Nintendo channel stuff like that, but I don't really know how to do that. 
I made that happen. Anyways. Yeah, that's it. Not really much to the DS download play app, I guess. Uh, then we go into system settings, just like the, of course, the regular system settings, not much there. Oh, this thing that says I love, yeah, it's probably a message that my sister put back in there, something like that. Um, if I had to guess anyway, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's no picture of me on that thing. Anyway, it's pretty blurry. But, uh, anyways. And then, uh, out of assistance, there's a couple of like built in games basically, which are these brand new Express games, Arts and Letters, and then. Uh, so let's go into the Arts and Letters one. Oh, yeah, the brand new games are like. You have to like. Hold the DS like this. That's what the brand new games were like. Um, this is Miss Alder right here. I used to play these brand new games all the time when I was younger. Um, wow. So to go into my brain training, I think it's like the main thing on the. Yeah. Uh, this says, how odd, is time moving backward? Data from a future date is in this file. That's weird. This may affect your graphics stamp data terribly, sorry about that. Good evening. The so-called, the so-called said my best is Steam W, I know, right? <laughs> um, um, so I just this little stuff like training. Um, Going to like one of these random things like photo recall, maybe. Oh, I accidentally turned the volume all the way down, I think. Okay, there we go. Uh, photo recall is good for activating your prefrontal cortex. It may also help to train your memory. Start training. Let's just try this real quick. Normal for normal is too hard, because why not? Uh, you want to use photo screen training for the camera too? Yeah, why not? Um. I don't quite remember what this is. Okay, so it says memorize photo. Okay. Memorize that photo. Tap the photo from two screens ago. Oh, yeah, I remember this. It's like the blue shirt. And then the photo from two screens ago. That would be this one. Uh, that one. Oh, I don't remember. I think it's that one. Okay, shoot. This one. Yeah. And then. Dang. Anyways, that's that. That was just a little portion of that. I miss playing Brain Age all the time. Those little games on Brain Age are always pretty fun. And there's also the math Brain Age thing. That's basically kind of the same thing as the other Brain Age thing that I was just showing, but just with math. So I think I might skip that. That's basically the same thing. And then the other land script. Someone talks land script. And this thing already showed that. That's just the um the 521 DS thing. I mean, on the Nintendo DS side camera. Of course, it's all the pictures and stuff. Um, there's like separate sessions for system and SD card. Actually, I don't remember if there's an SD card in here. Let me see real quick. Um, if I open this. Yeah, it's kind of hard to open it. Uh, no, there's no SD card in there, as you can see. No SD card. I think there was an SD card in here at one point. Maybe I like, put it in my Wii or something if I remember correctly. Anyways, we go over to camera. There's like all these different like effects and stuff. Um, you can kind of see my environment here <laughs> um and like the camera here um so you can see my like setup anywhere in the camera uh yeah kind of so you can see my setup and the reflection there and like video making setup there there's like different effects like it's kind of random on here oh merge that's take a photo of a face let me take a photo of my face real quick let's see let's see what happens here and use this one to merge two faces together. Oh, okay, so you have to take two different pictures, two different faces. Okay, let's try a different one then. Um, oh, like, here's an effect of, like, mirror. You see that? Um, uh, mischief. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I can remember what this is. Um, use this one to touch a humor to your photos. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. It's like with these, like, tears. I don't know if you saw it for a second before I went away. Anyway, that's that. <coughs> and there's the album, of course. They have <coughs> all the pictures that you've taken. <coughs> Apparently, the last picture I took on the CS was on December 1st, 2016. It says right there. Um, this is a picture of my face with, face with an effect on it. Um, yeah, there's lots of random pictures here. There's a picture of me. 
a little chubby me. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> lots of random stuff. Oh, that's like a merge of me and my mom's face. <laughs> anyway, probably shouldn't show a whole lot of pictures because I don't know, feel like some personal stuff in these pictures. Anyway, that's that. So let's go over to SD card. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no SD card inserted. Uh, all in the corners that have been inserted SD card. I forgot there's no SD card in there. Uh, and there's like a calendar section for some reason. I don't, don't know why there's a calendar in the camera. Nope. There's other extended coverage lead diagonals via tutorial. Oh yeah, I remember the tutorial. I haven't watched the tutorial in a while. Let's see here. Oh yeah, welcome to the SI camera. Let's go. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's that. And there's also an antenna the SI sound app as well. Like, like, record your voice. Um, let's see, you're probably edit sounds. Let's see what these ones are. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> I forgot about this. This is like, I used to, because there's like a little, like, owl, or not owl, there's like a little, like, parrot character on the antenna the SI sound app that would tell you, like, to say, like, different things backwards, and they would, like, sound like words, I guess. So I used to record myself saying those things backwards, and like playing them backwards, see what they sound like. So yeah, it was oh, just, wow. oh gosh. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect for that to be that loud, but yeah, that was me saying one of the things, one of the backwards things, which was, oh well, eh. I think I was supposed to say like, hello, but if I remember correctly, I ended up saying like, hello. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's, that, that's just a little look at that app, I guess. Uh, I mean, not really apps per se, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Anyways, the last thing here is the photo clock, <clears throat> which just has different pictures made in the side camera, I guess. I don't really remember that picture. It's just like some random pants and shoes, I guess. I don't really know. Anyway, it says December 4, 2001. That was a year before I was born. I don't know why that date is on here. Anyway, so it's basically like a clock with like pictures and stuff like that. And yeah, basically all there is to that. And yeah, there's all that was all the, uh, the apps of the Nintendo DSi. So yeah, I guess I'll show the brain. You just press the map phone real quick. I didn't, I didn't actually click on it. It's basically the same thing as the Arts and Letters one, but I'll show it really quick. That's that. Um, yeah, it's basically the same stuff. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, that was everything like on the. DSI or DS, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I'm gonna set that down for now, and I think I have a little, a little bit of time left to show some of my favorite games from the DS that I have in this bag. So I'm not gonna show, like I said before, when I started filming this video, I'm not gonna show like every single, every, each and every single game that's in this bag, because that would take a little too long. Um, I think I might do like a revisiting the game, revisiting the Game Boy video at some point, maybe since I have, I still have my old Game Boy, oh, excuse me, sorry about that, I was gonna say since I still have like my old Game Boy, and I have some Game Boy games in here and stuff, I might do a like revisiting the Game Boy video at some point, maybe I'm not quite sure about that, but anyway, I did do a, I did already do like revisiting the 3DS video like a while back, some of you might have seen that video, if, if you're kind of like newer to my channel, you probably haven't seen that video, but yeah, anyways, um, so here's the first game I picked out, this is a game I really like, this is called Drawn to Life. I actually kind of like talked about Drawn to Life a little bit earlier in the video when I showed the 521 DS thing. There's the, had the Drawn to Life Sponge Audition on it. But uh, yeah, this, this is the original Drawn to Life game. I used to play this game quite a bit. I haven't, actually haven't played it in quite a while. I don't really remember much of it. I only remember like, well, like bits and pieces of it. I should play it again. And I would probably be like, oh wow, I completely forgot about this. But yeah, I used to really love Drawn to Life. I should play it again, maybe I'll play it after I'm done making this video, but yeah, this is one of the games I used to like the most on the DS was Drawn to Life, so really classic game. But yeah, anyways, this one that, whoops, yeah, it's actually got this, like here it is, um, there's some starting to tear up thinking about this nostalgic stuff. Anyway, this was one of my favorite Mario games on the DS, this is Mario Party DS, right there. It's very really love playing the game, playing this game all the time as well. <clears throat> it's probably like my second favorite. Mario Party game when I was younger, my favorite was actually Mario Party Advance, which not a lot of people didn't really like Mario Party Advance and the Game Boy Advance, it was like so, so much different from the other Mario Party games, but I actually, I actually really liked Mario Party Advance, uh, I thought it was a great game, but yeah, 
but Mario Party DS was a close second right behind Mario Party Advance for me. Mario Party Advance is on the Game Boy Advance, of course. Might have already said that. I'm not sure. Anyways, that's it. This is another pretty <clears throat> nostalgic game for me. This is um, this uh, Hasbro Family Game Night. <clears throat> it's basically uh, a video game version of some of Hasbro's like board games. So like that's pretty nostalgic game for me anyway. I always like anyway. Let's see here. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I had this game. <clears throat> now this is at the Big Time Rush DS game called Backstage Pass. I don't really remember too much of this game, but I remember because it's kind of like a song, like rhythm game. I was like, we had time to songs, and you have to like play the notes and stuff like that. So I think something like that. I don't quite remember, but yeah, Big Time Rush is my favorite band. Until it's on now, so yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh yeah. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, this this uh, pretty nostalgic game for me as well. This is the Hannah Montana Music Jam game. I used to play this game quite a bit when I was younger. I've never really been that big of a Hannah Montana fan, but yeah, I used to really like this Hannah Montana DS game right here. So that's a nostalgic game right there for me as well. And yeah, I feel like I have to go back and play these games when I'm making this video. This is, like going through all these games is making me want to play them all again. Anyway, this is another really nostalgic game for me right here. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. He's played this one all the part of my only years, but he's played this one all the damn time. Uh, anyways, I liked the like the story mode the most, where you like unlock all the like little different lands by playing the little like Olympic events and you got all the characters to join you. You probably know what I'm talking about if you played this game before. But yeah. Um and uh a lot of DS games also have like Wii versions, like the DS and the Wii were kind of like connected. Um, like there was a lot of games that were available on both the DS and the Wii back in the day. But yeah, that's it. Uh, this is another pretty nostalgic game for me, it's a Six Flags Fun Park. This one I used to play quite a bit now, it's in great as well. Yeah, it's pretty fun as well. Um, let's see. There's one specific one I'm thinking about that I kind of want to try and find. Let's see. Sorry, I'm not saying much, but I'm just trying to go through all these games. Let's see uh, what I can find that I remember about. Um, let's see here. Uh, here's another nostalgia game for, for me. This is iCarly. Yes, the game's called iCarly 2. I joined the click. So, yeah, that's that. It's a pretty fun game, basically, like, um, you play as, like, a, a student at originally high school, basically, it's cool from the show iCarly, and I'm um, I think I like that, I don't really know why. Anyways, um, but he plays a student from, that goes for Joy High School, high school in the show, and then Carly and Stan kind of recruit you to join the iCarly crew, and you basically go around, like, Seattle, setting up the show, and you basically taunt all the characters, do, like, a little quest with them and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty fun game. I have another iCarly game here as well, like Carly Groovy Foodie. It's basically an iCarly version of like, I think it was a game called like Lunch Dash or Dinner Dash or something like that. I don't quite remember. But yeah, that's that. Um, let's see here. It's been almost 30 minutes, so I probably shouldn't, uh, probably should end the video soon, but I at least want to show like, at least like a couple more games. Um, let's see. Oh, this is another really nostalgic game. Whoops. Oh, okay. That's all the like, games are about to fall out there. It's kind of like, I sound like, like, kind of like, kind of like, I cut the DS games with my hand. Anyway, this is another really nostalgic game for me. It's the Wizard of Waverly Place DS game. It's plays one, again, all the damn time. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, the Wizard of Waverly Place is probably my favorite Disney Channel show, and it's one of my favorite DS games as well. So yeah, I loved playing this game when I was younger. And, uh, also, some big news was recently announced regarding, like, related to Wizard of Waverly Place. They're, they're going to be making a Wizard of Waverly Place sequel show, um, with Selena Gomez and David Henry returning as Alex and Justin, of course. Alex is only going to be, like, guest starring in the first episode, and maybe some other episodes, but for right now we only know that he's guest starring in the first episode, and then, and then, uh, Justin, David Henry, aka Justin, he's going to be a, a main, uh, main cast member, basically. So it's gonna be mainly about Justin, then, then it's gonna be about his like wife and two sons, 
and uh, stuff like that. Um, I don't, I don't know if like any other older characters gonna be returning, like any of the other original characters, like like Max, Jerry, Teresa, Harper. Like nothing was said about them returning, so I don't know. For right now, we only know that Al and Justin are returning to the new show. But yeah. Anyways. Also saw, also saw recently, uh, and like, like other, like TV, TV and movie related news, also saw that apparently they started developing, uh, Polar Express 2, like a sequel to Polar Express, Polar Express 2, so that should be interesting, but, uh, but I don't know if, like, I don't, when that was announced, I was thinking, I don't know what a second Polar Express movie could, like, really be about, you know, but, you know, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Um, I mean, the Polar Express has always seemed like a, a movie that didn't really need a sequel at all to me. Um, that's what the Polar Express always seemed like to me. Like, like I said, I don't really know what a second Polar Express movie could really, like, be about, like, what it could really be like. But yeah, anyways, here's another, but back to this, here's another install DS game for me. The Minute to Win a DS game is played this game all, all the time as well. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's one game that I'm thinking, I'm thinking of that I've been trying to find um, that I want, I want to at least show that one, one game that I'm thinking of before I stop making this video. Um, let's see. Here. I can't seem to find it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, this play is Lego Hate Party game all the time as well. Yours one through four specifically. I have the Lego Hate Party Years 5 through 7 game, but I don't really play that one as much as uh, Years 1 through 4. Anyway. Um, of course, the one game I'm thinking of I can't find. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking much, but like I said, I'm trying to find one specific game. Um, let's see. What the heck? Where is it? I know it's somewhere here. Oh, here's another nostalgic game for me the Drake and Josh DS game talent show. Don't need to play that one all the time as well. It's been one along that I was doing great well. Anyway. I know it's maybe kind of boring just like watch me go through all these games. But yeah. I don't really know what else to say about that. <laughs> Alright, well I still can't seem to find the the game that I was thinking of, but I guess I'll just say what the game was that I was thinking of. It was the the uh, the original iCarly video game. Um, maybe I'll be right back. Hold on, just a minute. I just have a place where it might be. Nope, just kidding. I thought you might have heard like a sound in the background of like something opening. I remembered I had I remembered I like still had the original case for the 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 DS game of the original like the original like, the DS game, so I checked in the the case but it wasn't in there, so it's somewhere in here but I have no idea where it is. But yeah, anyways that's that. Um this video's been like uh, this video is now up to like thirty four minutes, so I should probably end it soon. But yeah, I guess that was that. I was revisiting the DSi or just DS, whatever you want to call it. And then, by the way, this is a special Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, uh, or 20th, 25th anniversary, I mean, a special Super Mario Bros. 25th anniversary DS, as you can see right here. It has like the Mushroom Party Flower and Star in it. And this is, this is the camera, obviously, uh, right there. The DS is like camera, outer camera, anyways, and outer and inner camera to the DS, kind of like how's it, 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 how's
kind of like how there's outer and inner cameras on a phone on like iPhone, Android phone, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm kind of rolling on here. But uh, anyways, that was that. I was kind of cracking my fingers again in case you heard that. But anyways, <laughs> kind of rambling on here. But anyways, that was basically for, the, for this video. That's just uh, revisiting the DS and then going through like all the menus and apps and stuff of the DS. And then like going through the, uh, some of, and then going through my bag of DS games here. Of course, I was struggling trying to find the one I Carly DS game. I was talking about the original like Carly DS game. But uh, yeah, I'll probably be able to find out during the, don't make this video. But anyways, I don't really want this video to get any longer. I know this might have not been the most exciting video, especially the part where I was just like going through all the DS games, kind of like looking at them all. But anyways, um, don't really have much else to say, so um, well, hopefully it was at least kind of entertaining and not like not like boring all the way through. But anyways, and I, I hope like the whole video was entertaining and not boring. But anyways, I'm still kind of reeling on here. But anyways, uh, this basically over this video. I don't really much else to say. So of course, use like comment and subscribe. And of course, ring the bell so you don't find post any new videos. And um, yeah, I don't really, have, I don't really have much else to say. So of course, I enjoy this video. And of course, see you next time. Peace.